Well, it is one of the most awe-inspiring natural phenomena. And you may have been lucky enough to see it this weekend. The northern lights were on full display across Minnesota and Wisconsin. Our Kirsten Mitchell caught up with some of the photographers who captured the beauty. If the photos don't take your breath away, imagine being there. This weekend was by far like the best I've ever been able to see them. Photographer Reese Hickman stayed up until four in the morning Sunday to capture the northern lights from the North Shore. But it was worth it. Yes. Both Reese from Duluth and Rod Bakkenin from Lake Hubert have an app that alerts them when the viewing is good. But what causes the colors of light to dance across the sky? So northern lights are this really cool phenomenon where you've got these electrically charged particles that are slamming into our upper atmosphere. And our magnetic field redirects those particles to the poles. And that process is why we see those beautiful lights overhead. It's best seen in dark, clear skies. Tanner Charles captured this just 45 minutes from the Twin Cities. Always a sense of awe, like just a sense of awe and fascination, especially when they're dancing and they're super bright. Photographing it can be as easy as using an iPhone or as advanced as using a fancy camera. So you need a sturdy tripod, you know, you need to be able to get a good focus. The Northern Lights have many spiritual and cultural meanings. What was that experience like for you? I felt very magical. So it was just really fun to be able to sit, listen to the like waves crash against the rocks and then just being able to watch like the auroras over the cliffs. It's kind of moving in a way that you're able to see such a spectacular thing and not have to travel to Iceland to see it. Kirsten Mitchell, WCCO 4 News. Auroras are most frequent every 11 years during high solar sunspot activity. The next peak year is expected to be 2024.